This potentiometer adjusts the zero point, as you can see it is quite worn and makes noise. With a screw which is about 1 gram we have just a tiny variation of 0.02 volt. The tweezer weights uh, 22 grams uh, that produces about 0.4 volt. The screwdriver which is 16 grams gives about uh, 0.3 volt. The working principle is based on stiffness and the electric capacitance, exploiting the elastic deformation of the bottom of a can. Tin cans usually have the bottom that is corrugated to accommodate possible expansions or contractions of the container food and the air trapped into the can, behaving like a spring. And uh, we know from the Hooke's law that a spring expands or contracts proportionally to the force exerted. Of course, in no case the force is provided by the Earth's gravitational force. The second part is about capacitance. The two plates, uh, the one glued on the top of the box and the one gotten from the bottom of the can, are separated by a small air gap and a sheet of paper that is inserted to prevent a short in the case that the applied force is enough to make the two plates entering in contact. These two spaced plates form a capacitor. So combining the proportionality of the force with the deformation, thus the distance between the two plates and the capacitive effect, I've created a capacitor that varies proportionally to the applied force. 
Now the trick is how to grab this teeny variation of capacitance in the range of under 10 to 60 pico fired. The circuit I've designed provides a current source to drive our spatial capacitor and it is periodically shorted by a transistor driven by an unstable oscillator made around of a triple 5 and uh, given a constant interval the voltage will be proportional to the capacitance and this voltage uh, and then this voltage is averaged amplified and summoned with an offset to get an output uh, a voltage spanning from 0 to 4 volt when full force is applied when I've shown the working demonstration, I've got some reading of the placing a screwdriver that laid on the edges of the plate, the cans button. This would be unexpected because the corrugation gives elasticity from the center of the plate, but I've read something close to a real measure because this is makeshift arrangement where the paper and some irregularities of the bottom plate makes the top plate to work even in reverse, that is, making the edges coming toward the bottom plate instead of the center. Of course, this is a proof of concept and more have to be done to have a real instrument, such as bringing the analog signal into an Arduino or better, uh, a display like this one, to convert the analog signal into uh, something readable, such as grams or ounces. And, uh, and this was just to learn how, uh, how to read the pressure uh, with a capacitive method into a voltage to convert the pressure into a voltage with a capacitive method and um, and that's all folks thanks for watching see you next time